Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? Hope all of you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIE Basin School. This is Shadi Riyakar, Assistant Teacher of Science of National Ideal English Version School, Deji. Today I am going to take a physics class for class 9 students. <coughs> my dear students, our today's topic, chapter 9 discussion part 2. Today's lecture number 20 and SW number 16. My dear students, let's start our let's start our class. This is chapter uh, 9. Okay. Uh, first of all, we will know the, the types of lens, lenses. Okay, uh, <coughs> there are two kinds of lens convex lens and con concave lens. My dear students, uh, in chapter 8, we have already learned uh, about mirror. There are two kinds of mirror uh, concave mirror and convex mirror, and in this chapter also. Uh, lenses also two kinds of lens and uh, this one is convex lens and this one is concave lens my dear students what is convex lens and what is concave lens the lenses uh, which small things are seen bigger are called convex lens okay the le i am repeating what is <coughs> the convex lens the lenses uh, lenses which small things are seen bigger is called convex or converging lens and the lenses with which big things are seen is smaller called concave or diverging lens my dear students now uh, how can we uh, uh, recognize the which one uh, is convex lens and which one is concave lens mid portion of the lens with uh, with which is small um, uh, thin uh, are seen bigger or convex lens is uh, thicker than the edge my dear students this one is convex lens the mid portion of this lens is bigger and the side for the uh, side is side portion is thin and the concave lens for concave lens the mid portion is smaller okay the mid portion of concave lens is smaller and the two ends two edge of the lens is bigger okay my dear students see two circles convex lens and concave lens uh, can be imagined as the part of two circles this is two circles and uh, this one is convex uh, lens and this one is concave lens my dear students now like this this one is convex lens and this one is concave lens okay now come to next topic <coughs> come to next topic concave lens <coughs> Uh, 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 while discussing about convex and concave mirror, first we learn uh, about uh, concave convex mirror. And in this case of lens, at first we will discuss the concave lens uh, because concave lens forms the image like a convex mirror. My dear students, I am repeating this one: concave lens is forms the image like a convex mirror. And in this uh, in this case, the of a con convex mirror, we saw that the parallel rays diverge in all directions during reflection. And in the case of concave lens, the same thing occurs. The incident parallel rays on this lens are divert, uh, diverted during refraction. My dear students, see this figure. This is the focal length of a concave. Uh, this one is a concave lens, and this this is the focal length. Uh, uh, of this concave lens, a uh, concave uh, lens, and that uh, parallel light rays uh, coming, uh, uh, coming and falls on the uh, on this lens, and they are <coughs> the incident parallel rays on this lens are diverted during refraction. And if we extend the refracted ray of light backwards, it would be it would seem that they are spreading out, uh, out directly from a point, and this point is called focal point and the distance from focal point to the center of the lens distance from focal point to the center of the lens from here to here is called focal length so in case of a convex mirror my dear students in case of a convex mirror uh, light is of incident uh, from one side and in the case of a lens light can be incident on it from both sides okay my dear students now we will know, know the rules of refraction of uh, the three uh, we know the three special rules of refraction of light and we can explain how the image is formed my dear students number one rules and uh, my dear students like uh, on mirror like uh, chapter eight uh, you have to in this chapter also you have to learn three rules of this <coughs> for refraction of light and number one rules is if the ray of light is centripetal 
it goes straight after refraction my dear students see this figure if the light uh, if the ray of light is centripetal uh, that means xo a -A xo or yo <coughs> yo it goes straight after reflex refraction and number two the rays which are parallel with principal axis the rays which are parallel with principal axis after reflection it will go through the uh, focal point okay and number three rules that uh, if the direction of the light ray is reversed then it goes back through it the way it ha uh, has came and therefore if any ray goes towards the focus then it will be refracted in parallel with principal axis my distress <coughs> uh, by fol uh, in following this figure we can understood this uh, easily an object looks small in a concave lens this one is concave lens my dear students fo uh, follow this figure this one is concave lens <coughs> this one is the center of the lens principal axis this one is the center of the, this lens o this one is principal axis and uh, the an object uh, x y suppose uh, see the object x y the uh, object x y is near the uh, an, uh, of concave lens and to make the analysis easy we have taken the point y and uh, the suppose this one is object x y okay object x y so this one is the focal focal point okay focal point f so my dear students <coughs> the first rule according to first rule the if the ray of light is centripetal it goes straight after reflection okay so it goes after straight after reflection so this one is r and light another light ray coming from uh, uh, x point and it will parallel to, to the principal axis and after reflection it will go through the focal point okay after reflection it will go to the focal point and another light ray coming from this point and it goes through the uh, uh, center of the uh, center of the lens and it will go straight line okay so these two line are uh, in, uh, in um, these two line intersect at this point and from here we can draw a perpendicular so this one is x dash and this one is y dash so x dash and y dash is the image of object x y so my dear students i hope all of you have understood this one and from this uh, from this uh, 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 figure we can say that the position the image of the position the image of the position of the image will be between the center of the focus and the lens okay the center uh, between the center and the focus of the lens the image is position center and the focus of the lens it is virtual it is erect and it is small okay my dear students now come to next topic convex lens <coughs> this one is concave lens and now we'll discuss about convex lens my dear students the image which we got from a concave mirror is same as the image of a convex lens so my dear students the same the image of uh, concave mirror concave mirror and same as image of concave mirror same as convex lens and image of convex mirror same as concave lens okay this one you have to um, understood the image of concave mirror is same as convex lens and image of concave convex mirror same as convex lens my dear students now we'll discuss about convex lens so come to next page the convex lens uh, also the this one is convex lens the uh, parallel light rays coming from this point um, and after refraction the uh, all the rays uh, <coughs> intersect at this point and this one is called focal lens okay this one is called focal lens so my dear students also this for con convex lens there are two 
um, uh, th there are three rules uh, for uh, refraction of light and number one if the light if the rays of the light is centripetal it goes straight after refraction number two rules the ra uh, rays which is parallel to the principal axis it will pass through the focal point after refraction and number three if the direction of the light rays reverse then it goes back the way it has come so my dear students now we will dis uh, discuss this one uh, here this one is a convex lens and uh, this one is principal axis this one is the focal and the uh, uh, suppose an object x y this one is object x y is keep between the lens and the focal point okay between the lens and the focal point and by the same uh, logic described before we can say that the image of point y will be uh, formed in y, y o f line and if a perpendicular is drawn from image x of x we will go at the position of image y so now let's draw two uh, let's draw two rays from point x the uh, first ray coming from x and uh, it will parallel to the principal axis and uh, after refraction it will go, uh, <coughs> go straight line okay now come to, uh, from the it will uh, go through the focal point and another light ray coming from x and the, uh, to the center of the lens and after refraction it will go through the straight line so my dear students this uh, we can uh, if we <coughs> elongated these two rays if we elongated these two rays in the vapor uh, it will meet at the intersect at the x dex point so x dex and y dex is the image of object x y so my dear students from this um, construction we can say that the uh, we the image will be formed image will be formed in the same direction as the object and uh, it will be virtual it will be erect and it will be big so my dear students i hope all of you have understood this construction now come to next outside of the focal lens outside of the focal lens this one is also a convex um, uh, lens and uh, the uh, <coughs> the object is <coughs> if the object is at the outside of the focal lens here see this focal lens it the object is the outside of the focal lens but inside the two eyes of the focal lens so this one is the first focal lens and this one is the second focal lens this is the double okay that means this focal length is double so the if the object is outside the focal length but inside the two eyes of the focal length it uh, the object will, uh, image will be real inverted and bigger image in form okay my dear students so first uh, ray uh, coming from point x and it will parallel it will be the parallel to the principal axis and after refraction it will uh, go through the focal point now another light ray coming from point x and it will go, go through the center of the lens and after refraction it will go through the straight line so these two this true line this true refracted ray will intersect at x day point and now we will draw a perpendicular from this line and this will be x dash y dash so x dash and y dash is the uh, <coughs> image of object x y so my dear students from this image we can see that the position the image of the position will be outside twice of the focal length okay outside twice of the focal length because the object is uh, situated at the outside of the uh, outside of the focal length but it is inside the twice of the focal length and number b it is real uh, it is inverted but it is inverted and it is bigger than the size of the object my dear students now come to next uh, topic next a construction from this construction uh, the here if the object is placed at a distance twice of the focal length okay at the twice of the focal length that one is first focal length this one is second focal length so this one is double focal length so the if the object is uh, situated placed at the distance twice of the focal length the image of this object is uh, uh, same as the object my dear students now uh, from this <coughs> from uh, first ray coming from point x it will parallel to the principal axis and after refraction it will go through the focal point the second ray coming from point x uh, it will go through the uh, center of the lens and after refraction it will go through the uh, straight line so these two lines intersect at x dash point and x dash and y dash is the image of object x y so my dear students from this construction we can say that the position of the image will be on the twice of the focal length the it is real it is inverted and it is the same as the object so my <coughs> dear students this is also the same uh, i hope all of you have understood and uh, this one is also uh, between the focal length uh, twice of the focal length uh, the real it is real uh, it is inverted and it is small 
so my dear students now come to next topic the power of lens now we'll know about the power of lens and my dear students the familiar use of lenses is we see is in the spectacles uh, some people uh, wear uh, convex uh, <coughs> lenses in spectacles and some one is uh, use concave lenses spectacles so the conception of power comes from the matter of seeing big and small using a lens okay uh, the power of lens p the power of lens p is inversely proportional to the focal length if the focal length is f uh, in meter then the unit of power is diopter my dear friends if the focal length f is in meter the unit of power will be diopter if the power of the glass is 2.5 suppose if the power of glass is 2.5 uh, uh, then the focal length of this glass will be a f equals to 1 by p my dear students this is the formula of power of lens focal length f equals to 1 by p okay by using this formula we have to you have to uh, solve mathematical problem <coughs> uh, so f is focal length and p is power so if the power uh, glass is 2.5 so that means 1 divided by 2.5 so the focal length will be 0.4 meter or diopter okay <coughs> the power uh, the uh, unit of power is diopter power is not only used for a, con a convex lens and show how bigger object in the case of concave lens the same power is used to show smaller images in the concave lens which the object is seen in much as smaller and the power will be greater for the uh, focal length will be smaller in the case of concave lens the power is positive my dear students i am repeating the in the case of a conca convex lens the power is positive and in the case of concave lens the power is negative my dear students your today's is chapter number is 16 and you have to make 10 mcq from this chapter uh, from this uh, discussion my dear students i hope all of you have understood today's topic properly uh, practice properly at home this topic uh, see you again in the next class allah hafiz